Welcome back to the channel boys, Fat Blinsky is coming at your neck with this 100 Discipline Verity's Brow Build. Now in this build we're going to grenade spam like crazy, we got 100 Discipline, we have some other mods that's going to allow us to get our grenade back as much as possible, so let's go ahead and break down this build. But before I do that, I just want to say that recently I've been live streaming a lot more, which is why there's kind of been a lack of uploads for like the actual build videos, but if you want to see what it's like when I'm live and you can watch me play Destiny live, go ahead and check out my live streams. Sometimes, I don't have like a stream schedule or anything, but sometimes Sometimes I do live stream kind of often, but if you want to see my past live streams, there is a playlist on my YouTube channel of all my past live streams, so go ahead and check that out, and definitely be on the lookout for my future live streams. But alright, let's go ahead and break it down. So of course we are on Shade Binder, we're using Cold Snap Grenades, we got our two aspects, Ice Flare Bolts and Frost Pulse. Next season we are getting a new one, so honestly I don't know which ones this going to replace. Like I love Ice Flare Bolts and I love Frost Pulse, but honestly, I think I might get rid of this one, but I don't know. Because this only has one fragment slot, so if the new one next season doesn't have a fragment slot, I don't know, we'll see. But I think I could live without this one, but Ice Flare Bolts are just too valuable in my opinion. And, but here are my fragments, we got Whisper of Durance, Whisper of Hedrons, Whisper of Fissures, and we got Whisper of Refraction. Now since I like to take all my builds into the Nightfall, here is my loadout, we're using Heritage, we got Auto Loading Recombination, I absolutely love this gun. We got Arctic Case. Now this might just be the God roll. I don't know, but this is, I love this roll and I think this is a really good gun. We got a small board. We got Accurized Round. We got Mulligan and we got Dragonfly. I love me some Dragonfly and we got a range master work. Now the range on this gun typically is kind of low. So the fact that I got a bunch of range boosting mods and perks or whatever, and we got a range master work, I absolutely loved it. Is this the Arctic Haze God roll? I don't know, it is for me. You can get Outlaw here, but honestly, I kind of like Mulligan. I never really used it before and it procs a lot, especially on a 720 auto. So if you like auto rifles and you like 720s, I highly recommend farming this one. Now, if you get lucky, you might just get it on your first try. It took me a lot of tries to get it but i'm happy i did so go ahead and definitely farm yourself up one of these and as for my heavy we're using lament we need anti-barrier so i just want to take advantage of the swords before they get nerfed although i do think lament will be fine maybe falling guillotine will take a little hit but honestly i think lament is just going to be perfectly fine maybe just a little less damage but who cares lament is still a beast and it has anti-barrier so it's still a useful sword as for my stats we got 29 mobility we got 31 resilience we got 100 recovery so we have 100 recovery and 100 discipline I absolutely love this. We got 23 intellect and we got 46 strength. So let's go ahead and start with the helmet, which also happens to be our exotic piece of choice, Verity's Brow. Now, for those of you that don't know what the armor perk does, we got this armor perk called for the fourth magic. Energy weapon kills grant death throws, which provide a bonus to grenade damage and grants you grenade energy. When you have death throws and throw a grenade, nearby allies gain greatly increased grenade regeneration for a short time. So this is literally a offensive exotic and a support exotic and I absolutely love it. It gives you so much grenade energy and it helps your teammates get their grenade back which means more things are going to die. So if you like using grenades and you're a warlock, I highly recommend getting yourself a nice roll of this. For the mods, we're also using a discipline mod. We got shotgun ammo finder, sword ammo finder, and we got taking charge. Unfortunately, this exotic is just absolutely hideous. But I'm calling it right now. We're getting an ornament for this next season. At least I hope so. But I want to be—I want to be the first one to say it. So <laughs> we're gonna get an ornament for Verity's Brow. I think it's about time. We don't have any type of ornament, so hopefully we get one because it needs it. On my gauntlets, we're using a minor recovery mod, overload auto rifle, which is absolutely ass. But I want to take advantage of my new auto rifle, so I went through it on here. We got auto rifle loader and we got firepower. Charge with light, regain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, consuming one stack of charge with light. On my chest piece, we got a recovery mod, we got concussive dampener, melee damage resist, and we got firepower again. <laughs> On my legs, we got a discipline mod, we got shotgun scavenger, we got recuperation, replenish health each time you pick up an orb of power. This week's nightfall, you need to pick up like, whenever you kill an enemy, there's like a little ball of light that falls on the ground in order for you to regain health. So with that, paired with recuperation, I should have a lot of health coming back. And we got another firepower mod, boys. And on my warlock bond, we got minor discipline mods. We got double bomber mods. And whenever I do cast my riff, I get a nice chunk of grenade energy. And we have another firepower mod. This is four firepower mods on one build. And we got double bomber mods and we have 100 discipline. There's going to be so much grenade spam, not to mention the fact that whenever I shatter a frozen enemy, I get my rift back, which is going to lead 
well not my whole riff, I get a lot of energy back for it, which is going to lead to me allowing to use Bomber even more, which is then going to allow me to get my grenade back. Oh my God, this build is just so much grenade spam. So there is a complete build. It is an absolute monster of a grenade spam build. Now let me just run through why each part is going to allow me to spam my grenades. So first we got the Ice Flare Bolts, shattering a frozen target grants a small amount of grenade energy and spawns seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. So once I freeze one enemy, it's going to travel to other enemies once I shatter that and shattering that is going to give me some grenade energy. On top of shattering it, I also get uh, class ability energy, which is amazing. So that is just one way I'm going to get my rifts back. If I freeze a lot of enemies and shatter them all, I'm getting a nice chunk of uh, class ability energy. We also have 100 recovery and 100 discipline, which is going to lead to me getting my rift and my grenade back as soon as possible. We're also using Verity's Brow, which getting energy weapon kills gives me my grenade back faster. We got Taking Charge and we have four firepower mods. On top of that, we got Bomber. Bomber gives me grenade energy whenever I cast my Rift. So as long as I can spam my Rift, I can spam my grenades. If I have Charge with Light, I can throw firepower, get my grenade back, and then I can, <laughs> you know, it's just crazy how much grenade spam there is. Literally Rift, grenade, Rift, grenade. Like it's it's insane how much grenade spam is in this build. And as for my Warlock fashion, I tried to make Verity's Brow look as nice as possible. I got these nice chest pieces. I actually kind of like the way these look. I put some nice red and black and white on it. I don't think I've ever used this color scheme on the Warlock. Maybe I have, I honestly don't even know. But I really like the color scheme here. I think it looks really well. But if you like the colors, shaders will be in the description below. So before I got that dragonfly roll on the Arctic Haze I showed you early in the video, I was actually testing these bed out while farming for that roll. I had a different roll and wasn't didn't have dragonfly. But once I got the dragonfly roll and I started using it with this build, I started to realize how good dragonfly was and how well it synergized with this build. If you get one dragonfly proc and it kills like three or four enemies, that stacks with death throws, meaning that if you get one kill, it will give you like times five or four, however many kills you get of death throws. Since it goes all the way up to times five, it's a shortcut and a shorter path to get that maximum what, what do you want to call it, your gain or whatever it is of death throws, meaning that your grenade is going to come back that much faster. So if you get one proc, you get your grenade back, and if you have charge of light, you throw your grenade, you're going to get so much grenade energy using a dragonfly weapon. It doesn't have to be Arctic Haze. Any type of dragonfly weapon works so well with this build, it's unbelievable. Now let's get on to death throws itself and the grenade. The amount of grenades I had with this build was just unreal. Like, literally everything was freezing. I thought having two melees with claws on par was good. I, I had it a lot. But with this, wow, the ice flare bolts, double bomber mods, four firepower mods, 100 discipline. I literally have, literally felt like I would throw my grenade and instantly have it back. Like, it was that fast. And it felt a lot of fun. You know, there were so many times where I was getting swarmed with ads, I would just throw my grenade at my feet and it would just freeze immediately. And I would shatter them and get my grenade back and have another one if I had charge of light. Like, wow, this build was so good. And Verity's Brow, not only was it helping myself, it was also helping my teammates. It, if they were close to me and I threw my grenade, or they were getting fa fan the flames or feel the flames, whatever it's called, and they were getting their grenade back even faster. So I absolutely love this exotic. I really hope we get an ornament for it because my God, is it so ugly. That's the only thing holding it back is just the way it looks. Other than that, it's fantastic, right? So hopefully we get that ornament. You guys got to try this build out. I absolutely love it. So farm yourself up a high discipline roll. Unfortunately, I don't have a high discipline roll. It is what it is. Maybe I'll have to hit the legend loss sectors once they're dropping helmets again. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely get a high discipline roll. If you have one sitting in your vault, I highly recommend pulling it out because you're just going to see how fun this exotic is and how good it is. You know, and your teammates are going to love it too. They're going to get their grenade back. You're going to get your grenade back. It's literally a win-win for everybody. And not too many exotics are like that in this game. So definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think. But if you guys like this build, please like, subscribe, and share. It truly helps me out a lot. You can also check out my other videos. Links are in the description below. I have a lot, a lot of fun builds. And I have some live streams, so go ahead and check that out. And you might as well follow my social media. I have a Twitter and an Instagram, both at fat underscore But with all that being said, deuces.